Hi, in the previous video, we have seen what is inverse of a function. In this video, we will see that if a function is given to us, how do we determine the inverse of that function? So let us learn this through an example. Suppose we have a function y is equal to f of x, which is equal to say 2x minus 3. Find f inverse of x. We have to find the inverse of this given function here. So to find the inverse, inverse of a function, the first thing which we have to do is replace all the x by y and all the y's by x. Then the second step is make y as the subject and this y will be the f inverse of x. Okay, so let us try to find the inverse of y is equal to 2x minus 3 using these steps. So y is equal to 2x minus 3. The first step is replace x by y and y by x. So here y becomes x, x becomes y. Now what's the next step? To make y as the subject make y as the subject. So we bring 3 to the other side and we divide both the sides by 2 to get y as x plus 3 over 2 and this y is nothing but f inverse of x. So we say that if our f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, f inverse x is equal to x plus 3 over 2. This is f inverse of x and this is f of x. Let's take one more example. Let our function be fx is equal to 1 upon 2x minus 3. To find f inverse of x, we have to first do the swapping. Swap x by y and y by x. So fx is nothing but a y. So it becomes x is equal to 1 over this x is replaced by a y. So 2y minus 3. Now make y a subject. To make y a subject, we do a cross multiplication. So 2y minus 3 is equal to 1 over x. The x comes down here and 2y minus 3 goes up here. So 2y is equal to 1 by x plus 3. 2y is equal to 1 plus 3x whole upon x. We can take the LCM. And now we divide both the sides by 2. So get y is equal to 1 plus 3x upon 2x. This y is the inverse of fx. So f inverse x becomes 1 plus 3x over 2x. So this is the inverse function for the function fx is equal to 1 upon 2x minus 3. In our next video, we will see the graphs of a function and its inverse and we will see how these two graphs are related to each other. If you have any doubts in this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.